So this video will go over section 6.4, which is on reaction rates. So there is this uh, collision theory um, that explains how, um, you know, the conditions in which uh, reactions um, uh, have to be in order to occur. And so uh, reacting molecules must collide and have a minimum uh, amount of energy and have the proper orientation to form the product. So th those three conditions must be met for the molecules to be able to react and form the product. Uh, here we will look at the example of N2 and O2, uh, the two reactants on the left side here. So first they need to collide and they need to collide with the proper orientation where the two N, N uh, uh, atoms will uh, be colliding with the two uh, oxygen atoms. And the collision needs to have enough energy also to overcome the energy of activation and go into the transition state and then be able to do the uh, NO bonds, the two NO bonds. And so you may have collisions, but uh, if the collisions, even though it has a, a proper orientation like the uh, second case here, uh, you have a proper orientation, you have a collision, but the collision is not bringing enough uh, energy, so then uh, the molecules will not be able to go through the transition state and you will uh, end up with the reactant still. Uh, in the third case here, uh, below that, um, when the two molecules collide, it's good, but if the orientation is wrong, then uh, you cannot form the two new uh, bonds. So then this will be a uh, uh, useless uh, uh, collision. And there's two examples of wrong orientations here that show how uh, if the the two nitrogen atoms are not hitting the two uh, oxygen atoms, then uh, they cannot form new bonds. And so you still have the reactant after those types of collisions. So there are factors that can be used to affect the reaction rate. And so for any reaction, the reaction rate will increase with an increase in temperature. So you can uh, use the temperature to increase the reaction uh, rate because temperature brings kinetic energy. So molecules will have more kinetic energy, more energy to move. Uh, this uh, will increase the uh, amount of energy and the uh, uh, probabilities of having collisions. So this helps in two ways, right? Bringing more energy and increasing the number of collisions. Increasing the concentration of the reactant will also uh, increase the reaction rate. Uh, that's because if it's more crowded, there is more uh, collisions happening. And so more collisions increases the probability of having uh, collisions that have sufficient energy and that are properly oriented. So uh, increasing the number of uh, reactant in a given amount of uh, volume will uh, favor the reaction rate. And then adding a catalyst. So a catalyst um, is uh, something you add to a reaction, but it is not um, a part of the reaction, nor it, it is going to be a product. So it does not appear on the, react the, on the chemical equation. It's usually shown above the arrow, but otherwise uh, it remains unchanged before and after. It's not part of the chemical equation uh, other than being written above the arrow. So um, the role of a catalyst is that it will lower the energy of activation without affecting the uh, heat of reaction. So by lowering the energy of activation, you give more uh, chances for uh, more molecules to have the enough energy to uh, reach the transition state and then uh, become products. So uh, let's talk more about catalyst uh, and use uh, an example to understand better what uh, they do. So we have this uh, reaction of ethylene, ethylene plus H2, the hydrogen gas, 
are forming C2H6, the ethane molecule, ethene. And so above the arrow, you see PD, and PD is the symbol for palladium, and that's the catalyst. So this reaction is uh, really increased in speed when you add a catalyst to the reaction vessel. And so if we look at the energy diagram, when we have uh, no uh, catalyst into the reaction uh, container, then it's the blue curve. And so the blue curve shows uh, a higher energy of activation to be overcome by the molecules. So the uncatalyzed reaction has a higher energy of activation, and that means that it's going to be a slower reaction. You know, fewer molecules will be able to have that energy and overcome the energy of activation and, and, and change into product. Then when you add the palladium, palladium will catalyze the reaction, and that means it will lower the energy of activation, and then you get the red curve. The red curve is the catalyzed reaction, and we see that it decreases the uh, amount of energy of activation necessary for the reaction to occur. So that gives more chances for more molecules to uh, have that energy and then uh, get changed into product. So then uh, this will increase the reaction rate. We ha will have a faster reaction. But notice how uh, the difference in energy between the product and the reactants stays the same. They did, they did not change between the uncatalyzed and the catalyzed reaction. It's at the same level, and so delta H and delta H is uh, positive in this case, is uh, still the same number, same value. So uh, enzymes um, that you find in uh, biological um, reactions are uh, biological catalysts. They are called enzymes, but uh, in the chemical term would be a catalyst. And so for here it's showing you uh, how the lactose molecule, so lactose is made of two uh, carbon cycles uh, with oxygen and hydrogens, and uh, to be digested it needs to be split into the two, um, uh, two sub-molecules, which are the galactose and the glucose. And so um, in, uh, in your stomach, you need to have some lactase to uh, digest lactose more easily. Uh, it catalyzes uh, the reaction, so lactase is an enzyme and so a catalyst. And um, what it does is that it provides a, a site for uh, lactose to be uh, held while uh, the bond will be broken between the two uh, carbon cycles. So the enzyme catalyzes the breaking of the bond and then once it's broken, then the two uh, molecules of galactose and glucose can uh, be free and, and be digested. And uh, as you can see, lactase here can be reused. Uh, like a catalyst, it's only helping the reaction to uh, get to be faster, but it's uh, not uh, part of the reactant or the product. So enzymes are important in biological uh, reactions. So let's go through uh, learning checks now. State the effect of each on the ra rate of reaction as increases, decreases, or no change. So if we are increasing the temperature, what happens to the rate of reaction? We saw earlier that it increases the rate of reaction because temperature uh, means more uh, higher temperature means higher kinetic energy, higher uh, speed of movement for the molecules, uh, more energy, and more collision. So this will all increase the rate of reaction. Uh, statement two, removing some of the reactant. So if you are removing some of the reactant, you are decreasing the concentration of reactant. Uh, so this decreases the chance for collisions, and so this will uh, decrease the rate of reaction. We will have less ch chances for collisions to happen, and those do, uh, then the reaction will be slower. Statement three, 
adding a catalyst. So catalyst, uh, you have to learn that they are used to increase the rate of reaction. Uh, that's what they do. They help to get the reactions uh, to become very fast. Statement four, placing the reaction flask in ice. So you have to uh, visualize this. You have your uh, reactant in a reaction flask and you uh, place this in ice. So what ice will do is lower the temperature, right? From room temperature to ice temperature that's uh, decrease in temperature. And so if we are decreasing the temperature, we are uh, decreasing the amount of kinetic energy of the molecules. And so this will decrease their energy and they will uh, move less fast. So this also decreases the number of collisions. So uh, this will decrease the rate of reaction. What happens when you are increasing the concentration of a reactant? Uh, if you increase the concentration of a reactant, which means you place more molecules per unit of volume, <coughs> so this will increase the chance for collisions. And the more collisions, the more uh, chance of getting a, a collision that work and that leads to a reactant, to product. So this will increase the reaction rate. Let's do this learning check where we have a specific uh, chemical equation and indicate the effect of each factor listed on the rate of reaction as increase, decrease or does not change. So what happens to the rate of reaction uh, of the reaction CO, so 2CO will uh, react with oxygen to make 2 carbon dioxide. So you're making uh, carbon monoxide react with oxygen to make carbon dioxide. So if we are raising the temperature, what will happen to the reaction rate? We uh, saw that the reaction rate should increase, right? Uh, raising the temperature gives more energy to the molecules more energy uh, gives them a chance to have the energy uh, to overcome the energy of activation and uh, get into the transition state and then become product. Removing some oxygen from the reaction flask. So if you're removing oxygen, you're uh, decreasing the chance of collisions between oxygen and carbon monoxide. And so less collisions means less uh, molecules becoming product. So this will decrease the reaction rate. Adding a catalyst, adding a catalyst. So catalysts are very specific and, and made for uh, increasing the reaction rates. They are there to help the reaction happen by lowering the uh, energy of activation. Uh, what happens if you are lowering the temperature? So lowering the temperature is like uh, removing energy, uh, lowering the kinetic energy of the molecules, which means, uh, you know, decreasing their speed uh, and decreasing the amount of energy they have. So that will decrease the rate of reaction. <coughs> 